I'm struggling with uh, this concept that we can't change anything in this world. A lot of people say that nothing's gonna change, dude. Give it up. What are you What are you doing? It's 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 a people. A lot of people say it's a great concept. I really I really like what you're saying, but it's never gonna change anything. Don't you see that this is the way it is? It's a very common response. Now here's what I believe. I believe, and this is a new belief. I've never really thought this way before. I've always been so logical, so straightforward, so math and science, you know, life is like a big equation. A equals B, A plus B equals C. But now I believe that, I'm starting to believe, and this is, sounds crazy, but life is what we believe it is. Life is perception. If we believe that we are, if we believe that there's someone in our apartment trying to kill us, if we really believe it, than there is. For all intents and purposes, I mean, it may not be to that guy over there, he may see it differently, but for us, it's real. It's real, it's the world, it's the way the world is working. That's why people go crazy, is because their perception changes. They believe something that, that may not be real to other people, but it doesn't matter, they believe it. This can work the other way. If you believe that you will succeed, if you really believe it, you will. It is, it, it is real. It will be real. And it's the same way, it works the same way with, with the political climate. If you believe that we will be at war and that people are going to die, and if you believe that there's nothing we can do about it, then there's nothing we can do about it. But if you believe the opposite, if you really, really, really believe that you can do something, if you know you can, of course you can. If you accept it, you can do it. You can do anything you want. I can do anything I want. I've been really getting into this idea. I was just talking to Amanda about it upstairs, this idea of collective consciousness, with the power of when you believe something. Let me tell you a story. There's this kid that lives in my apartment complex named Michael, and I had this little ball, and we were all throwing the ball around, and he's six, and it was like flying past him, and he was like had his arms up like this, and the ball would go over here, and he wouldn't really move his arms, and I gave him my hat, my UPS hat, and I was like, hey, hold this hat and catch the ball in the hat. So I was about 10 feet away from him and I threw the ball up and he would just, he'd hold the hat and the ball would go flying behind him. And then uh, I kept doing it and I was like, oh. And he, he really wanted to keep doing it. I said, listen, you, you can catch this ball. Of course you can catch this ball. You can do anything you want to do. All you have to do is decide that you want to do it. Is decide that you're going to do it. You can do anything. And he said, okay. And uh, I took the ball, and he was like 10 feet away, and I just looked at him, and I believed it. I really believed that he was going to catch it. And I threw it up, and he caught it. And that, to me, you can call it a coincidence, or you can call it life being what you believe it is, Either way you're labeling it, the truth of the matter is that stuff exists. It exists all the time. You have to believe it. And this idea of collective consciousness, when lots of people believe something at the same time. They did a study in Washington, D.C. in 93 where, where a thousand people gathered for peaceful meditation. And they did it. And when they did it, violent crime dropped by like 17% in D.C. just with a thousand people meditating. It's not, it's not a coincidence. It's very real. We, we affect each other. We inspire each other to be a certain way, to change, to listen. It's up to us to do it. You have to be open. You have to drop all of your guards and do it. Uh, that's what I want to do. I'm getting into this idea of collective consciousness. When you watch this video, let yourself believe for one second. Let yourself believe it. That maybe things are going to work out. That this war isn't the answer. There's a lot more going on. And, and, and war has been going on for centuries, for hundreds of thousands of years. Or however long humanity has been around, there's been war. But there's, all, there's also, the entire time, has been the over, ability to overcome it. And that still exists right now.
but we need to start believing it. We need to start accepting it. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Maybe we can get together for some kind of peaceful, I don't know, meditation, conversation.